Hey, this is David at PDF Automation Station. Today I'm going to show you how to set your global settings for your uh, PDF Automation Station exhibit stamp. You can access that under Help, uh, PDF Automation Station, and Exhibit Stamp. You can also access it in this custom toolbar button for the uh, exhibit stamp. Before we do that, I'm going to go to my stamps menu under PAS and you'll see five stamps here, all with a white background. So there isn't any settings yet. Um, you can set up five unique stamps. So we'll do two today. I'll do an exhibit stamp and an approved stamp, but you can do paid or whatever you want. And once you, once you set your global settings, then it's here until you change it. So you can change these anytime you want, but there's five different ones, so it's pretty flexible. Um, we're seeing these images because down here, I do not have show stamp name selected. If I select that and go back here, now you see the names. Exhibit stamp one, two, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and put some global settings here. Um, just click that. Let's, why don't we do a yellow background? And you can select any of these colors here. You can also select any color in the color picker. I'll show you how to do that in, a, in another video. We'll leave the text color as black. This is your opacity or transparency. Default 100, which means it's not transparent at all. We can reduce that. If you went all the way to zero, it would be completely invisible. And you can go anywhere in between. There's three settings for the stamp author. This is optional. The default is the computer login. So if you don't do anything here, that's going to be your author for your stamp is the computer login. Um, you could also use the, uh, the name from the uh, uh, Adobe identity, or you can select other and put whatever you want in there as the author. The header is a large text at the top. You have four options here. You have, uh, any text you want and I'm going to do that because we're going to make an exhibit stamp so let's type the word exhibit you can also use the computer login the Adobe uh, Adobe identity name or you can use the current date and put any date or time format in here uh, the footer is the small text below the line on the stamp same four options. In this case, why don't we use the current date and I'll use the format of month, day, year. Click apply settings. And so your, the first stamp is all set. And if we look here now, you'll see the yellow. And that's my exhibit stamp. Let's go ahead and program the global settings for the, the next stamp. I'm going to use a blue background, a white text, leave the transparency as 100, leave the author, and for the header, I'm going to type approved, and for the footer, I will type I will select uh, my Adobe identity name. Click apply settings. And then you see my two stamps here. Um, once you set the global settings, every time you use this stamp, those uh, settings will remain. Um, there's also local settings, which will pop up the first time you apply to the stamp to a specific PDF. 
So the local settings will stay with that PDF. The global settings will stay with that stamp. Um, next video, I'm going to show you how to select a, a background color that's not in that color picker. Um, thanks for watching.